They say cooking is the new rock and roll. So let's rock. Hi there. This is my very first show and you are my very first audience. So welcome to Magda's online magazine. I'm passionate about design, gardening and food. And I have been cooking as long as I remember with my mama and nana. And I would like to share some of the tricks and tips I have learned over the years to save you guys the time and make your cooking experience so much more enjoyable. Autumn is here and we're craving for some comfort food. So the pumpkin and sage lasagna is great to share with a family and friends, but also ideal dish to freeze for a midweek quick meal. This will serve between six to eight people and you will need 1.2 kilogram of pumpkin, peeled, seeds removed and cut into thin slices, three red onions cut into wedges, three garlic cloves crushed, two tablespoons of sage leaves shredded, one tablespoon of avocado oil, three tablespoons of balsamic vinegar, 375 grams of fresh lasagna sheets, 100 grams of cabalonero, trimmed and shredded, 300 grams of soft ghost cheese, 400 grams of mozzarella grated, salt, pepper, and 50 grams of unsalted butter. With the ingredients all ready, I'm starving, so let's get cooking. Mix together in a large bowl the pumpkin, onions, garlic, sage, oil and balsamic vinegar, and salt and pepper. Divide the mixture between two large oven trays lined with non-stick baking paper and then cook for 20 to 25 minutes, swapping the trays halfway or until slightly golden. Allow to cool slightly. If you are using a fresh lasagna sheet, put them in a large dish and pour hot water over them. Leave to soak. If you are using a dry lasagna sheet, cook per package instruction. Line the base of lightly greased oven-proof dish with one layer of lasagna sheets, trimming to fit. Top with one third each of pumpkin mixture, cavalonero and ghost cheese, and 100 grams mozzarella. Repeat with remaining ingredients to form two layers, finishing with a layer of lasagna sheets. Infuse butter with a sage by melting the butter in a small non-stick frying pan over a medium heat and cook for one minute or until foamy. Remove the sage from the butter and set aside. Spoon the melted butter over lasagna. Sprinkle with remaining mozzarella. If you want to add extra kick to the dish, before lining the first sheet of lasagna, Put a chipotle paste on the bottom of the oven-proof dish mixed with a little water. Hey, and whilst the lasagna is baking, take the chill out of those autumn evenings with a nice glass of red wine. So there we are, perfect for those autumn nights when the rain lashing down and the wind howling through the trees. I don't want it to blow my own trumpet, but this is delicious. Try it and impress yourself, and then introduce to your friends. Remember to tune in again when I will be passing some more tips on cooking, gardening, and homemaking. Remember to watch out for my favorite recipes available free 
to download soon. Please subscribe to the channel and like the video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave below.